So let's kick off our webinar with Jamf and Claris, how to best use managed Apple IDs at your school. My name is Aaron Webb and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Education here at Jamf. And I'm super delighted to introduce two of our fantastic guests today, Matt from Claris and Stephen from Beverly Public Schools. In today's session, we are gonna dive into these four main sections and give you some insight into how best to use managed Apple IDs in your school. First, you will hear from myself with an overview of getting started with managed Apple IDs before I hand over to our guests from Claris and Beverly Public Schools. Both Matt and Stephen will showcase the integration with Apple School Manager and how Jamf, Claris and Apple are better together. We will then round up the session by diving into how you can go further with other Claris FileMaker apps. Before we start, let's touch on Jamf with a brief overview. Jamf helps organizations succeed with Apple. We do this with our Apple Enterprise Management Solutions which are here to help organizations connect, manage, and protect Apple devices. In today's webinar, we will be touching on one of the many challenges education faces when it comes to securely connecting users to resources, efficiently managing devices and apps, and protecting data, devices, and privacy. The areas we will be focusing on today provide solutions to those challenges to ensure the best user experience with Apple. Jamf helps more than 50,000 organizations manage 20 million plus Apple devices and counting. When education organizations need the world leader in Apple management, they turn to Jamf, the world's largest K-12 primary and secondary schools, as well as the best universities around the globe, choose Jamf for Apple management. A major benefit of choosing Jamf for our exclusive focus on Apple is our history of and commitment to something we call same day support. Same day support means less work for you, faster access to new Apple features for your staff, teachers and students and better control for your admins. As you can see, continuously over the years, Jamf has delivered support for new Apple operating systems, macOS, iPadOS, iOS, as well as tvOS, the day they are released. If your students are craving that hot new feature from Apple, it is easy to kick off a mass operating system upgrade across your entire Apple fleet. On the flip side, if you want to pause the availability of a new operating system, you can delay operating system upgrades for up to 90 days, so your team can take time to test and validate before making the OS available to everyone. With the Jamf overview covered, let's kick off with our first section of the session, managed Apple IDs. We can't discuss managed Apple IDs without calling out Apple School Manager. Apple School Manager is a simple web-based portal that helps IT administrators deploy iPad and Mac in schools. You can easily provide students and staff with access to Apple services, set up devices, purchase apps and books, and enable teachers with tools to create engaging learning experiences, all from one place. Check out our webinar on the basics of Apple School Manager by scanning the code on the screen with a camera on your iPhone or other device. You can also find it on our website, jamf.com, and go into our library of webinars. It is essential to ask the question for your Apple deployment, is it an Apple ID or a managed Apple ID.
Within Apple School Manager, schools have the ability to create managed Apple IDs for students and for teachers. Maybe you're used to allowing your students the ability to create their own Apple ID, which might be challenging if they are younger than 13 years old. Or you've created managed Apple IDs, but don't know what they can do and what they can't do. We will hear from Beverly Public Schools later on how they have enabled and empowered students with their own Apple IDs for their one-to-one -one Mac program. Apple IDs give access to a whole Apple universe and managed Apple IDs are specifically for key Apple services. You might need one or you might need both, or you might need neither. Let's unpack all three options below. Yes, you can use personal and managed Apple IDs on one Apple device. Your students and teachers can sign in with their personal Apple ID and their managed Apple ID side by side to take advantage of the Apple suite of services. Using managed Apple IDs gives your teachers and students access to tools to help evaluate and support their classroom experience. With free iCloud storage, students can work on projects and know that their work is saved and could be accessed from any signed in device. And when you're working in group projects, students can use the iWork collaboration suite for pages, numbers and keynote to get their presentation ready, whether they're at home or at school. And even more so, managed Apple IDs in Apple School Manager can be enabled to use Apple FaceTime and iMessage for communication and collaboration. For those of you not using a one-to-one -one program, Shared iPad might be a great tool for you to use. Shared iPad is a feature enabled within Apple School Manager which requires a managed Apple ID for students to share a bank of iPads whenever they come into the classroom. Any student can log into the iPad in their classroom and pick up on their project right where they left off. We mentioned earlier the tools for teachers and one of those tools is Apple Classroom. Classroom is a powerful app for iPad and Mac that helps you guide learning, share work and manage student devices. It supports both shared and one-to-one -one environments and you can launch a specific app website or textbook page on an iPad in the class, as well as share documents between teachers and students or share student work on a TV, monitor or even a projector using Apple TV. You can even see which app students are working in, mute student devices and assign a specific shared iPad for each student, as well as reset a student's password. And when the class ends, you can see a summary of your students' activities right in the palm of your hand on your iPad. But what's your options if you don't want to use managed Apple IDs? Maybe for your K-8 students, you don't give the option for using Apple IDs, whereas for your high school students, you empower them with their own personal Apple ID. Either way, we want to give you the functionality to create a great learning experience. The Jamf Teacher app is absolutely perfect for that. The Jamf Teacher app gives teachers the tools to manage their class and keep students focused on their education. With the Jamf Teacher app, you can instantly restrict websites, apps, the camera and much more. You can even lock all student devices at once with a custom message. And you don't need to use managed Apple IDs. This is a great option to explore if you don't want to go down the managed Apple ID route, but it's also a great companion to the Apple Classroom app if you do want to use managed Apple IDs. Check out more on Jamf Teacher on our website. And for those use cases that simply don't need an Apple ID for substitute teachers, kiosks, library devices, research desktops, etc., you know you don't have to create an Apple ID to have the full functionality of the device. With Jamf, you can make sure the right apps are available for whoever user turns on the device. There's so much more that we can build off to help you be successful with managed Apple IDs and your Apple technology. 
I'd like to introduce Matt Codlin from Claris International to share more about their organisation and how they have worked with schools like yours to help automate and integrate across the school's entire technology ecosystem. Over to you, Matt. Thanks, Aaron. And hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Matt Codling, and I'm a product manager with Claris International. I work out of Apple's offices in Southern California, down in San Diego. Been with the company for about six years, and I spend a majority of my time focusing on adaptations of Claris technology for our customers in education. I'm joined today by Stephen Paloma, who's the director of IT with Beverly Public Schools, and we're going to run some slides and stories here around Claris technology, who we are, where we fit, and why that matters. And then I'm going to hand the stage over to Stephen to talk a little bit about how Beverly Public Schools is leveraging Jamf and Claris for managed Apple IDs and other integrations that provide upside and efficiency for him and his team. For those of you that don't know, jumping right in, Claris is an Apple company. We are a software division of Apple. We've been around for about 30 years, which makes us one of the most durable brands in technology. And we have two products. One is called Claris FileMaker. And I doubt there are too many people on this call that have not heard of Claris FileMaker. We have been around for some time. We are a, a workplace innovation platform or a low code development software development toolkit. We make it really easy for our customers to build and deploy custom applications that run fully cross-platform on desktop, which is both Mac and Windows, over the web and mobile from a mobile browser perspective, but also we've got a native iOS application called FileMaker Go, which is utilized to deliver all kinds of immersive native iOS application experiences. Again, in a framework that's easy and accessible, require a full stack developer to be productive in FileMaker, which is a really important attribute these days, considering how long IT's backlog is. That's FileMaker. We also have a product called Claris Connect. Claris Connect is an integration platform as a service. It's a software that's designed to help our customers build connections between data systems, get data moving where it needs to move. And then you can also employ intelligence customization, think of if this, then that kind of logic triggers and actions between those data flows to get, again, a handle on data assets and get information to where it needs to be. From a FileMaker perspective, lots of experience, lots of customers. We have over 14,000 schools and school districts that have, in some cases, spent decades working with Claris FileMaker. Use cases that range in scale and size, everything from full-blown student information systems and learning management systems to solutions that were built specifically for functions like food services or transportation. We have districts that are using FileMaker for their IEPs. We have really, really cool and powerful stories in the social emotional learning domain, schools that are leveraging FileMaker for student supports and emotional support. And then on the mobility side, so many great stories from a FileMaker Go perspective. Principals walking around school doing teacher assessments with FileMaker on the iPad. Coaches that run PE classes and track meets from their iPhone. Administrators that are selling tickets to school dances and using iPads to scan barcodes as students enter those events. So many great innovation stories, typically integrated with other platforms. FileMaker has been around in education for some time, and we've lots of, of great stories to tell. On the, on the Connect side, again, Claris Connect is a new product for us. It, uh, we released this product about a year and a half ago. It's an integration platform as a service, which is designed to help our customers to build, deploy, and manage connections between data systems. And the reason why Connect is really so important today is because managing integrations is still one of the biggest unsolved problems in IT. There was a recent study that Salesforce came out with that approximated $400 billion would be spent on integration projects this year. That's worldwide across 
every industry, but you know, that problem is only getting worse. The number of applications, the amount of data, and the number of devices are all on the increase. And the old way of connecting apps by wiring point to point code really just isn't sustainable. It's expensive and the changes are just too numerous and frequent to keep up with. So Claris Connect provides a software platform that connects almost every kind of technology in a standardized way. We do this by unlocking data using modern APIs and we provide connectivity between systems and external applications and devices. And, and then we enable users to manage and secure the flow of information between those systems. And this allows users to create kind of their own application networks. So IT can shift from being just the project deliverer to more of a technology enabler. And based on our experience in supporting IT in schools, anything that we can do to move things off of IT's plate is, in our opinion, pretty important. IT is pretty busy. And one way we're doing that with Claris Connect is through a program that we released in May of this year, which is designed specifically to help our customers integrate roster data from a student information system into Apple School Manager to automate the creation of managed Apple IDs and unlock other value that comes from these systems. So um, as you know, at, you know, Apple School Manager is essential to any successful deployment in a school district. Really to be successful in a school device deployment, you need two things. You need MDM and you need Apple School Manager. Apple School Manager is relatively easy to sign up for. It's a, it's a hosted kind of device management platform that has all kinds of other features and benefits when your district integrates roster data that's typically housed in a student information system. Now, integrating roster data isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do. There are specific formats involved, there are files that sometimes need to get manipulated and there's some tools out there and some plugins that exist but by and large what we have heard is that there uh, oftentimes were some needs here there was some overhead for it in getting this information kind of flowing automatically and so again in may of this year we released a, a program that's centered on claris connect that's designed to make it easy for our customers to integrate this data. So, you know, the story is simple. The, the institution, the school, the university chose Apple and the teachers and the staff, they want to use the technology. And we would like to provide the enterprise data or data that the enterprise, in this case, the, the institution, the school districts, they we want to provide that information in the classroom or wherever that information is necessary. And Claris Connect is one vehicle to help really simplify that. So Connect is a, a no charge technology integration tool for SIS. And, and you heard me right, it's no charge for this use case. We do sell Claris Connect. And so if there's other things you wanna do with it, we, you know there are fees associated with throughput on the APIs, but for this use case, fetching roster data and moving that data into Apple School Manager, this is free of charge. And we now support native connectors for three of the major SIS brands, Aries, Skyward, and Follett has a, an SIS called Aspen. These were all the connectors were built on a one roster API spec. One roster is a data interoperability um, standard from a group out of Florida called IMS. And we can fetch data with a, an API against these three SIS. We also have support, if you're looking at this screen and not seeing your logo, if you have an SIS that can export data in a one roster format as a CSV, Claris Connect can pick up those CSV files and transform them into the files that are necessary for Apple School Manager to ingest. We also have some other things on our roadmap that will significantly broaden the scope of compatibility here. 
our goal is to be universal in this domain. And we've got some things that we're working on to create kind of more compatibility. I encourage anyone on this call, if you're not seeing your SIS on the screen and you're curious where your brand is on our roadmap, please reach out to us. We have a prioritized roadmap of other SIS that are, that are coming out. We've got a handful of different ways to skin the cat when it, as it applies to this use case. And we would welcome your outreach for us to kind of talk through that with you. So yes, we've got this great use case that, that helps facilitate the managed Apple ID automation of the creation of managed Apple IDs. And again, all the other downstream benefits that come once those managed Apple IDs are in place. Worth mentioning, Claris Connect provides all kinds of services and we've got connectors that are that are beyond just SIS. We've got third-party cloud. We can interact with on-premise systems. We have a very large school district that is running their SIS on an AS400, an old AS400. And we're leveraging Claris Connect to acquire data coming out of that old system and move that into Apple School Manager. So we've got a, a few different places that we are compatible. If you go to claris.com and click on Claris Connect at the top, there is an app directory that you can see. We've got about 55 connectors today. Things like DocuSign and Twilio, Slack, and Jamf are all connectors that you can employ if you want to acquire data and get data moving around your organization in novel ways that drive more value. That is technology. That's what we, we currently do. And in addition to all these connectors that are listed on the left, we also can hook and populate data into Claris FileMaker. So again, FileMaker is a low-code app development framework. And so once we've acquired data, it makes it really easy to build other apps from that data. So depending on the use case and the workflow, we see all kinds of upside here. Let me give you one example of where we are seeing the blending of connections and custom apps for a very specific use case. And it's all around a program that the FCC came out with earlier this year called the Emergency Connectivity Fund. The ECF is a $7.17 billion fund that is designed to help schools and school districts close the homework gap associated with the pandemic. So when COVID hit, it did a number on, on our schools and a lot of districts did not have the networking equipment and the devices to enable remote learning for all of their students. And so the FCC put a, a, a fund together to help schools acquire those devices. And it's a really exciting opportunity for so many of our customers to go out and get the hardware necessary for remote learning. However, there is a pretty significant reporting requirement as it pertains to this program. The FCC requires that you keep for 10 years the information that's listed on this screen device and equipment type, device make and model, serial numbers, all of the people to whom the device was assigned, any service records, and also all the documents that are related to the application for the money, the way the money was spent, et cetera. Obviously the FCC is looking to mitigate waste and fraud. And so they put this, this rule together. And we heard from a number of our customers anecdotally that they were really excited about this opportunity, but they were not necessarily in the business of this kind of a report, especially for 10 years. Worst case scenario is in nine and a half years, the FCC comes knocking and you can't find the spreadsheet that you built to manage all this information and you have to give the money back. So we took a close look at that, that spec and the rule from the FCC and took a look at our technology, Claris Connect, and on the left there is the Jamf Pro API and designed a Claris Connect connector that could automatically draw parts of the record retention requirement that's built in this program. Specifically, we can get device and equipment type, the device make and model, and the serial numbers. And we designed a system to do that using Claris Connect and a Jamf Pro API. In addition to this information, 
we've recently come out with a program called the Claris Smart Pack, which is a, a suite of pre-built apps that were designed for specific needs within schools and school districts. In the Smart Pack, which is a bundle that includes those apps and licensing for, for Claris FileMaker and Claris Connect, we have an ECF records manager. This manager leverages these integrations. So we can integrate directly with Jamf to pull in device details. It provides unlimited document storage for all the forms that are specifically involved with this program. All the forms that the FCC said, you have to keep these somewhere. If we ask, we want you to show those to us. And then also purpose-built workflow. So for all the, the assignments, you get a box of iPads when you pass out those iPads, this can integrate, bring data in from the student information system. So you've got the roster in there, you've got the device information in there, and you can assign those devices. And then if someone checks that device back in, or if there's a service issue, cracked screen, something gets lost or stolen, again, it's got all those features built in. It runs cross-platform, desktop, web, mobile, and is built to kind of facilitate this use case. So again, this is just a, an example of how we had brought the low code app development framework together with a, an integration tool, Claris Connect, to build out use cases in this case that facilitate Jamf and FileMaker integration for, for this rule. So that's all I had with my part. And, and next up, I'd like to invite my colleague and friend, Stephen Palomo to the stage, to the presentation to talk a little bit about what's going on at Beverly Public Schools and the work that he's doing with Jamf and with Claris for the benefit of his, his organization. Stephen? Hey, thanks, Matt. It's great to be here to share what we're doing here at uh, Beverly Schools. I am Stephen Palomo. I've worked at Beverly Schools for 10 years. I started out here as technician and then became the director of technology. Nice. So director of technology, that's a pretty important title these days in a school district. I can imagine you've probably got your hands full with that one. Can you talk a little bit about, a little bit about what that job entails? Yeah, so as the director of technology, it's definitely a jack of all trades uh, job and the description probably changes year to year. Tons of new challenges every year. I think the most important thing, uh, because it changes so often, is you have to have a good understanding of where technology is heading in the future. It's really important to keep up with the technology as it evolves. Yeah, I can imagine. And from an evolutionary perspective, devices are certainly on that cutting edge, central to really any district these days. And I'm assuming that from a device perspective, that falls, that management falls within your domain as well. Yeah, so definitely over the last 10 years, um, devices have grown pretty rapidly and we've learned a lot here. The first year I started here, we actually started our one-to-one -one for the high school. And it was one of the first one-to-ones in the area. So we really didn't have a lot of school districts that we could go to to kind of model. So it was definitely a learn as you go. When we started our one-to-one -one at the high school, we used Jamp in the beginning which really helped us kind of track all of our uh, devices at the high school. But Jamp being the MDM and device tracking was, was really helpful, but we also needed to be able to track payments, track the repairs, and just really track all this information about the users that were using the devices. So that's kind of where we found Claris FileMaker which was a uh, low-code uh, low platform that really allows us to build out, you know, the solutions that we need on our own. So we immediately connected Claris uh, FileMaker with Jamf to pull in all that important device information from Jamf. And then it allowed us to connect FileMaker to our SIS, uh, to our payment system, to uh, a bunch of our other systems to kind of have a one-stop shop. And once we built out this template, it, you know, it took maybe five years to build this out. We were very quickly able to roll out a one-to-one -one across all of our other schools. So then we were uh, rolling out a one-to-one -one iPad program for our middle school. 
one-to-one -one iPad program for elementary school and a one-to-one -one, uh, iPad program for preschool. So now we're managing over 6,000 devices with a very lean tech department, thanks to all the software that we've been utilizing. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's, you've got quite a bit of, um, of uh, technology and hardware on your hands. And from what I know of you and your team at Beverly, like you said, it's not a very big group. And I know that, that tools like Claris FileMaker have proven to be kind of beneficial in terms of building capacity for you. From a use case perspective, I know there's one in particular that you have shared with me before, which is all about, it's kind of an extension of a, a zero touch deployment model such that you've leveraged some integrations to kind of facilitate automation as it pertains to the, the scenario that's up here on the screen. Would you take a minute to kind of talk about this particular part of your, your Claris FileMaker and, and Jamf deployment? Yeah, so automation and integrating all of our apps together, I would say is, is a very important step because as the tech department, the less we have to focus on devices, the more we can really focus on teaching and learning. So with FileMaker, we really just started out building kind of a self-contained solution to track all of our devices and which people they were assigned to, which students and staff. But there's still a lot of manual input to take the information from Jamf and take it from our SIS. So that's where we really started looking into integrating with other apps. So now with FileMaker, we're able to pull in all of our devices from Jamf, as well as push uh, information to Jamf, such as device names, groupings, which apps need to go to which devices. So all of that is automated now. We're also making a connection with our SIS system. So as we get new staff and students, it's automatically pulled into FileMaker and their username and passwords are automatically created and as well as their Google accounts. So Google is another thing that we are connected with. And we also connect with many of our, uh, like I said, our learning apps, uh, such as Linkit, ST Math. We really, we built out a connection with our payment system, with our library software and Apple School Manager. So. Like I mentioned earlier, automation really is key here to, to really free us up to focus on, on what I think are the more important things. Yeah, that's great. And, um, I'm, you know, it's super impressive in terms of how you've been able to integrate all these systems and leverage in this case, Claris is kind of a pane of glass to, to manage all of those. I know that you built most of these integrations, all these integrations yourself, and you maintain them yourself. And there's been, we've had quite a bit of discussion about kind of managing or migrating some of those integrations across to Claris Connect. As it pertains to Apple School Manager, which you just mentioned, you know, Beverly Public Schools is currently using Claris Connect to fetch data from your SIS and move that over into ASM. Can you talk a little bit about this? this part of your deployment and, and your experience with, with this software so far? Yeah, so uh, as you mentioned, we built out the integrations ourselves, which really helped us automate, but it does take time and some programming knowledge. And also you have to keep up with all the API changes. So when we built out, say our integration with Apple School Manager, it took multiple tries, maybe 10 plus times of sending them our files. And then it would kick back with uh, all these errors and requirements. So it really is trial and error. And then once you have it working the next year, there could be a new requirement. And then you kind of have to relearn that integration and figure out what needs to be changed. So then we moved our Apple School Manager integration over to Claris Connect. And rather than spending hours or days working on this connection, it was something that we were able to do in five minutes. Building out a workflow in Claris Connect, it was, it was mostly, uh, you know, it felt like a drag and drop. And the best part is we've now been running this integration for some time now. And if any changes have been happening over on Apple's end, we haven't noticed because Claris Connect has been, it, you know, they took that job over for us, uh, keeping up with these API changes. So our overall vision is to move our other integrations over to Claris Connect, such as our integration with our SAS, with Google, and with our learning apps. 
Yeah, awesome. Yeah, we were really excited to bring you into this program. I mean, you've been a, a Claris customer of ours for a, over a decade, but just, just recently bringing you into Claris Connect for Apple School Manager. And we were so excited to, to kind of make good on how easy we could create that integration for you and, and glad that it's been running successful ever, ever since. Can, you know, as we, as we look to wrap up, can, can you talk a little bit about kind of what the future holds and other programs or projects that, that you're tracking or, 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 or adapting Claris technology in, within your, within your district? Well, one of the ones that came up was um, the ECF grant. And when it first came out, we were hearing a lot about other school districts that were a little nervous to apply for it because of all the um, requirements and tracking. And when we took a look at the requirements, we figured out that with the Claris FileMaker, we were able to uh, respond to this pretty quickly and build in any additional uh, requirements needed for ECF into our current solution. So, I mean, we're, we're talking maybe a couple of days to, to really, you know, build this out and go forward with the grant. Yeah, we we're, were, you know, as I talked about before, you know, our team has been tracking this, this program closely and you're a great example of a customer that was able to adapt our technology to, to facilitate a report that wasn't necessarily uh, trivial, but when you've got the right technology in place, it, it really, you didn't need to move heaven and earth to get that information captured and organized, which, you know, unlocked your district's ability to go after the funding and kind of put some of your business team's minds at, at ease that, that you were covered if and when the FCC ever came knocking. Well, Stephen, really excited that, that you were able to join today's session and you're certainly going to stick around for the Q and A with the rest of us here as we wrap up the webinar, but just in summary, you know, with Claris and with Jamf, you know, we're helping our customers successfully use managed Apple IDs from their point of creation to the management of the devices themselves. And our ability with Claris to unlock new use cases by combining data integration and custom apps, you know, we really see a ton of upside in terms of innovation and efficiency for our customers. And it's an exciting time for us, and we're certainly excited to be partnered with Jamf and supporting our, our customers in this in this domain. And with that, I'd like to pass the microphone back to Aaron for a, a recap and to kind of move us over into the Q and A portion of today's uh, presentation. Uh, Aaron, take it away. Wow. Thank you both Matt and Stephen. What a great insight into the world of managed Apple IDs and how they empower student success when combined with Claris and Jamf. Thank you so much for joining us. We've been on a journey starting with managed Apple IDs before handing off to Claris and Beverly Public Schools with an awesome customer reference and Jamf partnership. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to scan any of these QR codes for access to additional information and resources you've seen in this session, here is your chance now.